Well, good evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. And to my right and to your left, of course, is the lovely Valerie Eliason. And we are coming to you live from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV. And you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. Val, how are you? I'm great, Glenn. What's how are going? you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Hanging in there. You know, it's been a great weekend for yes. me. I had tons and tons and tons of things to do. Lots of artful things happened. And... Uh, uh, plus, there was a couple of open studios this weekend we need yes, to talk to. Did you hit the was. South End? I did. I, I hit there. JP. Okay, good. Then we'll be able to cover it just cover a little bit. Yes. But if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to. We're at 617-708-3290. Get you to the great staff at BNN and in the other room. They're answering the phones and, and letting us know what you're up to and so you can get you right here on the air. <sighs> It was, a, it was a really wild weekend. I had a great one. Tell me about it. What'd well, you do? Well, we, we did all kinds of, well, I had the grandkids, first of all. Oh, awesome. Okay, so we had to make sure that everything was wrapped around them, and yep. uh, we had a lot of fun. I took them on the duck boats. Oh, I bet they loved that. Super producer Janice and the fabulous Rebecca and I, we all piled onto one of those duck boats and That's went so for cute. a ride around the city. Oh, they were so... And, Avery is five. Okay. Devin is nine. Okay. You know, so they're kind of like, you know, and he's definitely the big brother. And, and, oh. and they let the kids, I don't know if you know about this, if you take the duck boat. Have you ever been on a duck boat? I've never been on oh, a duck boat. This is something you got to do. Okay. Because, you know, I learned so much about the city of Boston that I didn't know. Did you know? Did you know that there is a piece of the Berlin Wall here? I had no idea. It's on it's a display. It's an art piece. Where? It's over like by where behind that, near the museum over that area. The MFA? MFA. Okay. As you go underneath, it's kind of tucked away in the back, but it's all of a sudden there's this section of the Berlin Wall. That's there. incredible. Yep. And, but we, anyways, <laughs> so we go into the water <clears throat> and, hey, anybody want to drive? This guy says, you know, and Devin, you know. And he gets up and he's driving it. And you should have seen Avery, the little girl. She was oh. so proud of her brother driving the That's boat. That's so sweet. It's just this big smile of pride on her face. It was fun. Oh, my gosh. That sounds wonderful. It was wonderful. great, great, great. Um, did, so did you go to the South End? You did. What did, I this, did. what did you see? Did you see anything interesting? Oh. Yeah, I did. I did so much this weekend. Um, so Sunday, I worked the open studios. I was there in oh, front of did. the Mills Gallery from oh, 11 great. to 6. Cool. All day. All day, yep. I guess. What were you doing? Were you... Uh, I was at the information table. I was showing people some That's of the great. spots. That's great. Yeah, it was really fun. I got to meet a lot of cool people. A lot of in, uh, a lot of people in from different parts of the country. Yeah, they travel all over to come oh, to Boston yeah, for these definitely. events. Definitely. Um, I walked down to Harrison Ave over near where Soa is mm -hmm. and checked out some of the galleries around there. How was the crowd? Were there a lot of people? There were actually. Yeah. I think we almost had um, at the artist studios right next to the mills. We almost had four hundred people. Wow, that's a in. that's a great turnout. Yeah. It was uh, a really great. Do you turnout. know what else? You know what's tucked in right in there is Sonic Bids. You know what Sonic Bids is? No, what's that? Sonic Bids is where musicians local actually they've kind of spread out all over all over the world where people can get job gigs playing. They okay. kind of line you up with play, places. That's how I got uh, to play down at Sower a bunch of times. No kidding. Cuz Sonic Bids is right there and I'm kind of like a part of there a member there and they find gigs for you. That sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, we hit, when we hit open, we hit open studios in Jamaica Plain kind of late on Saturday because we actually did the duck boats and then okay. came, then came home after we ate. We ate at the California Pizza Rio. Oh, California Epson. Pizza Kitchen. Yes, right at the corner there, right at Delicious. the crew. It was good. Delicious food. We left our pitches from the duck boats there. No. Did you call them? Are they going to save them for you? No, they're gone. Oh, gosh. They're gone. Some other family is boasting those pictures and saying, look at my... The worst. But it was, uh, it was really fun. It was a lot of uh, interesting uh, things. But on our way back, we kind of came through Jamaica Plain to make sure, you know, kind of came down and we saw all the activities going on. We found a nice spot. So we pulled over, we went into J.P. Licks. J.P. Licks had all of this great art. <sighs> At the church on the corner, there was this big dance going on. So there was live music outside. Oh, Not wow. well, was it live? No, it was kind of, it was disco okay. dancing. So people were dancing outside. That's great. And we walked around a little bit there at, in, in, in Center, on Center Street there. It was a lot of fun. I love Center Street. Yeah, yeah. And you know who played uh, at the, um, 
at the farmer's market. Did you make it down there? Because no. Laurie Goldsmith was playing this past week. She was? And she is a singer-songwriter, and she had uh, an upright bass player, Tal, who plays an electric upright bass, mm -hmm. which was really kind of cool. And they were great. Oh. They were great. They played some old jazz standards. And next week, I'm dragging you down because uh, Cruz Amende is playing. I will definitely go. It's an eight-piece woman jazz, Latin jazz band. No kid. At This is at the farmer's market? Yeah. Okay. So this coming Saturday down at the farmer's market, which is down in Rosendale Square at the train station. Yep. Is um, Rosendale Village Main Street's Farmer's Market. What they're going to have down there, they're going to have Cruz Amende this That sounds weekend. great. It's going to be huge. Huh. Speaking of music, you know what I did Saturday night? Went out? I, I did go out, but I went to uh, the opening of the Providence Philharmonic. I saw some, I saw the orchestra and some oh, beautiful, beautiful pieces. Where did pieces. you get to enjoy that? It's, um, it's at the Vet. It's in Providence. Oh, you, you traveled down? Okay. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful, though. I love classical music. You like classical music? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I love classical. I started out my musical career with the beginning of it when I was a youngster was classical music. It's great. It's just, I, uh, I, I, I love it. It can, it can knock you out of your seat. It can inspire you. It yeah. can make you cry. I mean, there's just so many great things It's going so on. versatile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then the other thing, what else did we do? Oh, yeah, Sunday we went to Devon's football game in Weymouth. Wonderful. He did scored. they win? He, no, they didn't, but he <gasps> scored a touchdown. He ran, he, ran one, he ran one back like 70 yards, twisting and turning, oh. and kids bouncing off him. He's flying. <laughs> so that was, that was very cool. We must have been so proud of hey, him. I'm very proud of him. Devon's a great little guy. He, uh, he's my, my son Jason's. These are both my son Jason's kids. And... Uh, uh, they're so much fun to be with. Okay. They're such good kids, and they're so polite, and they love their grandparents. So we have fun with them all oh, the time. Oh, my gosh, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I love family time. Then, after that, I'm not done. Keep going. Mind you, I was football-free this weekend, So because Saturday, I mean Sunday, I went out to... Mark Smith is a good friend of mine, and he is kind of the, the, the boss and cat that runs... Brookwoods Farms. Okay. And it's out in Canton type of Milton area. And they have a fundraiser every year. And uh, uh, Frank Graham, who is the Frank Graham Project, she is a guitarist, singer, songwriter. I, uh, I went out and did all of the sound for, for this event and set up, much like we did here for the, for the, um, the 30th anniversary block yes, party. Yep. So I did the same thing out there in, in this beautiful estate out there in Canton where they have this big, huge back porch, which is like a stage. And so I kind of ran the sound for them to play. That's so nice of you. Yeah, I got a free dinner out of it and everything, which was kind of cool. Very cool. Um, but it, it was a lot of fun to work with, with, with Frank. I'd worked with her a couple of oh. years ago and done some sound for her. So it was good to see her back because I really enjoyed that band. You should do a lot with music. Yeah, I do. You know, I, I, I try. Music is the, is the first thing. Yeah. You know, so, and then comes um, everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything else. Two categories, music and everything well, else. Music, music is kind of like the only thing that I can honestly say to myself that I, I, I kind of enjoy it and I do it kind of okay. And it's kind of one of the things that I can, I feel comfortable doing with whoever I'm doing it with. Yeah. You know, so uh, everything else is a chore and practice. But, but music, I can, uh, I can fit in without making too much noise, without being too obvious. <laughs> now, I've listened to some of your CDs, and you definitely, oh, uh, definitely have some talent. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. I enjoyed them. What else is going on? Anything? Uh, I understand see. that we may have to send... Uh, <sighs> pest control. Klaus. Klaus let you have it. I'm telling you, he wasn't biting. Klaus bit her. They did. On her own. Now everyone knows Klaus is this. We haven't really seen any real pictures of him, but suppose, supposedly he's this 70 pound <laughs> he's rabbit that lives at Val's house. <laughs> So little did I know, apparently rabbits are huge fans of Raisin Bran. Yes. Huge you fans of Raisin Bran. Did not know. <laughs> Had no idea rabbits loved Raisin Bran so Will much. Will you get in the way of his Raisin Bran I anymore? got in the way of his Raisin Bran. I yes. was trying to take a handful of the box yeah. out. I don't think that he bit you because no. he was mad at you. I think he just saw Raisin Bran and started eating and he you put bonkers. your arm in the way. I did. 
Yeah. yeah. I was just trying to get him a handful of it. But someone's going to ask. He's got all his shots he's and all. He's not a wild. Yet. This isn't a wild animal that no. lives out in the arboretum. This is your pet. This, this is, is pet. Your, your, your baby. Yeah. <laughs> who is da who's staking <laughs> his territory. Leave the raisin bran alone. <laughs> yeah. Plain and simple. Right? Something else. So what else, is, what else is what is what's you got anything coming up? You got a great Val's view coming up. Oh though. yeah, definitely. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna up. get to Val's view in a couple of minutes. Some fun things. Um if someone wanted to watch this show later on, how would they do that? Well, It'll be on around this time tomorrow. Yep. Go to YouTube. It's all about arts and the number one. Yes. Um, you can check it out. All of them are posted up there. There are lots and lots of them. Great yeah. episodes. You know what we need is we need more people to comment on them. Yeah. If you see something you like or don't like, be honest and put on, put a comment in there. Because what a comment does is it kind of tells everybody, kind of makes a ripple effect and everybody gets, you know, exactly. a little check out of it. We're not asking you to go there and and live there, but you know, check out some of the guests that we have. The whole list of who's who, who's been on the show is there. Mm -hmm. So, um, also our Facebook page is awesome. Facebook page is really kind of coming along, yeah. I think I'm you've start. done a lot of work with that. Thank you. Yeah, of I course. I was going to say you've posted it. a lot of things on there. I like the person painting the. Uh, I love Was it a mailbox that. or was it the the, the it electrical was the box? Electrical yeah, boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that and I just I, uh, it made. A, Put a big smile on my face. That was really, really yeah. cool. And all the pictures from the block party and of stuff. Course. That was that was fun too to see. I was thinking I'm actually gonna start posting uh, what I talk about on Val's View onto the Facebook page I in think case you should. anyone misses it. Well you know what that does is that also gives uh, you know that everything that you're doing is you're kind of publicizing some of the things that are going on around the city. Yeah. So there's a great tip. If you do miss Val's view here at BNN, you can go to the website and kind of catch up to yeah. the Facebook page. It's all about arts and catch up with uh, what is happening in the city. Yeah. That's kind of a cool thing. That's a very cool thing. Uh, one of the things I do have to announce is that October 18th down in Rosendale Square is the grand opening of Adams Park. Adams Park has been under construction and renovation for a long time now, it seems. And what they're going to be doing is they're going to be, uh, the, the great mayor of the city, Marty, Marty uh, Walsh, is coming out, and they're going to, they're going to cut the ribbon and, and get us into the um, Adams Park for our last few weeks of, uh, of the farmer's market. We're working behind the scenes, which it's kind of after our music, but we're working behind the scenes trying to get a couple of our favorite artists to come down and play so that we'll have some live music that night. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, so it's oh, that day. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because, you know, I was kind I kind of had a small hand in the in the in the design of it because I I wanted to make sure that there was a performance space mm -hmm. and there is. Good. And that there'd be an underground snake for the audio um, for all the PA equipment and Very stuff, smart. so so we're not you know carrying all lugging all this other stuff. So the the connectors are at the stage, and the connectors the other side are up up at the perch that they've made me a little place for me to sit. <laughs> well, <laughs> one of these days, maybe they'll name the bench after me in 25, 30 years. But that's you know that's where where we're going to be, and we're really excited about doing this. Uh, it's been a lot of work, so we're kind of psyched. It'll be nice to get the farmer's market back over yes, there, it will. too. Well, you know, I, I, a lot of people are saying, oh, but it's so convenient up at the parking lot, blah, 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 blah. It is. It's kind of easy to walk around. It's easy for the vendors to drive in and stuff. But what we're missing right now is... That ambiance. Yes, you're very much missing that neighborhood, sitting on the grass, having a picnic, yep. listening to the music, getting some fresh fruit, doing it, meeting up with friends, mm -hmm. sitting down and relaxing at that Adams Park obviously has. And uh, I can't wait to get that back. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't gotten it, a chance to see it at Adams Park it, yet. It's, it's, it's great. You'll, you haven't been down to Adams Park? Well, I haven't <clears throat> seen the farmer's market at oh, Adams yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's, 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 it's going to be nice. It's a lot of fun down oh, there. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm psyched. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I do have to talk about, and we'll take a couple of minutes, Val and I, to talk about it is the um, the people that help keep us on the air here. We're very, very proud of our affiliation with the Boston Main Streets program. Boston Main Streets is an organization that helps revitalize business districts around the city. They're doing a great job everywhere. Uh, Rosendale's been at it since 1986 when the then city councilor Tom Menino brought this urban program to the urban site for the first time. It had always been like these strip malls and stuff, but then he brought it to 
um, a neighborhood whose business district had gone downhill and was kind of uh, a mess and grates and broken windows, empty storefronts, just not some place you'd want to be. And uh, what they did was they helped revitalize Rosendale Square, and now people are in line on Thursday nights to have dinner. Yep. And it's, it's a destination now. They have people that work with the property owners to make sure they have the right demographics. There's people that work with the... Uh, um, once the storefront is full with a, with, a, with a new, exciting business, they work with them to get their storefront um, design and signs and signage all right, make sure that it looks right, da 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 And then the Promotions Committee runs these amazing events that bring people down to Rosendale Square or anywhere around the city. There's 19 of them around the city doing this. It's not just Rosendale. And um, to show off what, what's been going on. And, uh, they've been our friends and supporters for a long time here at being in Anna. We're very, very proud of that and uh, want to thank them. So if you see somebody in a Main Street's t-shirt helping out, they're all volunteers too, Val. There's, they're not getting paid for this. The only reason they're doing it is because they love their community. You know, they've been around as long as I've been. From 1986, that's the is year that I was born. The, you, there you go. See what a great job we've done? <laughs> <laughs> we, can't take, we can't take credit for Valerie. <laughs> But that's, that's how long we've been at it, you know? What's your favorite store in Rosendale? Oh, you think? boy. That's a great question. I like, there's several places I like for several different reasons. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I really, really enjoy Blue Star, which is a, uh, it's a restaurant that does breakfast and lunch. And I'll go there for breakfast. If, it, if I had to pick, I'm going to go to the Blue Star for breakfast. That sounds good. Uh, if, if I want to get some nice baked goods and, and I want to get some great bread and I want to get a nice great cup of coffee, I'm going to go to Fornax, which is on the corner. The bread company, it's called. I've been there. Oh Fornax my gosh. Fornax is awesome. Their homemade English muffins yes. are out of this world. Yes. Yep. And they're at the farmer's market. So that's my first stop in the, in the morning. I come with my coffee. I start setting up. As soon as I see that they're there, I go down there and get a bocce or some kind of muffin or something yeah. just to get me through the morning. Uh, if I wanted, if, if, see, this is a question you ask and it's kind of cool. If I want to get my hair cut, I go to the Rialto Barbershop, which nice. is down around the corner. If I want to get my medical, if I want to take care of my medical needs, I go to Sullivan's or I go to the medical center, which is right there in Rosendale Square. If I want to have an amazing dinner and I want to sit down, cloth, tablecloth, silverware, really nice glass, da 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 da, da I'll go to Delfino's, which is this amazing Italian American oh. restaurant that is out of this world. If I want to sit like in a, in a grotto, uh, in a courtyard and have a nice dinner and a beautiful dinner, nice atmosphere, good friends and stuff, I'll go to Sophia's Grotto. These all sound amazing. I'm going to write them down. They are all amazing. <laughs> and the, they're there because the Rosendale Village Main Streets yep. um, made that commitment to the community and, and did that kind of work. Check out any one of those. You know something? Check out anything in this square. And there's, there's all kinds of... I don't ever have to leave Rosendale Square. I'd you be, really I'd be don't. happy. You know, so... Except we'd like to see a theater with some live music. They do have, we have live music at the Farmers Market, we have live music at, at Birch Street Bistro. We have live music at the Congregational Church every Monday night. Right now, they're kicking off an open mic. See, so, so you know, it's, it's kind of like always been my community and I've always loved it and I think that it does great things. Main Street's really has done a wonderful job. Yes, they really have. We're very proud of the stuff they've done. Where you're, where you're from, did they have a Main Street's program or anything like that, maybe Board of Trade or something like that? Um, that would be. I mean, where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from Sturbridge. Sturbridge. Yeah, it's out more central Massachusetts. Yeah, I know where it is. Yeah, um, but I lived in the Brighton Alston area for oh, five years. Oh, there's a great Alston Brighton Main Streets program. Yeah, over there. I, and it's it's awesome. I mean, even driving down through Brighton Alston mm -hmm. now, it's changed so much since I moved in there yeah. over the past five years. It's really great all the time. One of the things that it does, though, it does take a specific area. Mm -hmm. and call it like this is the outside of this area we're really not going to concentrate that yeah. much on but we're going to be just this they do have boundaries and um, we've often talked I was on the board for many years we've often talked about branching out maybe getting another couple of blocks in yeah. involved but the work is just it speaks for itself. We're hot at it as we speak yeah. <laughs> you know so to bring in some other areas might be a little but that, that that's beside the point 
But anyways. Yeah. The other thing we should talk about. Now, you know, I'm going to ask you. Well, you've been here now, being in about, a, I don't know, a month and a half, two months now maybe almost? Yeah, about two months, about I think, two right? two months? What's your impression? What do you think? What do you think we do here? What do you think of this stuff? I, I love it. Mm. I love what we do here. I love this building. Um, I, I, I love everything about BNN. Yeah. I, I love the programs that they involve. Yeah. Um, all the, all the producers. Yep. Um, showing people how to use these great programs on these high-tech computers yes. downstairs. So that's the Timothy Smith network. That's, Timothy Smith is, is a network of people who, who, uh, obviously Timothy Smith was the original one, but he's a really old guy who's been gone now for a long time. Mm -hmm. But he left all of this money, this endowment, to this area of the city where technology, he, he was way ahead of his time. Think about this. He, he said that the, there may be a need in future times where they'll need technology available to the public. Mm -hmm. And he left this endowment and this amount of money to get technology to the people of this community. And he did. And now what happens is they bring in all of these amazing high-tech Macs and uh, Apple computers downstairs for people to do editing on, yeah. and we bring in people to teach them how to use. The Monique is downstairs day and night running classes on how to do Final Cut Pro, how to do the editing, all of this kind of stuff that's really, really cool that you need to have to, be, to run television programs. Yeah. And um, uh, they also bring, they, they got computers over for my Boys and Girls Club over in Orchard Gardens. That's awesome. So that's where a, a lot of that support comes from. Uh, the Timothy Smith network, you know, we're happy about that. But BNN also has this side, this side that we're on right now, mm -hmm. because we're affiliated with a nonprofit like Main Streets, we get to talk about the things that, that, that help Main Streets and things that are uh, community-based, like the artists, and we kind of give them a, 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 a format and a, and a view to talk. So. But the other side is where you can become a member and you yes. can do programming. So like you, what, what kind of programming would you do if you were? Hmm, I think, um, I mean, I would certainly do an art-related program. Would it be art-related? It definitely would be. I, I think it would be, you know, I would love to do um, a program about street art. So ah. I'm really captivated by um, street artists like Banksy. Um, I know in Buenos Aires uh, there's some incredible murals, and it, I just feel like it's an art that's often overlooked. Right, right. Um, and, and I love, actually, one of the things I'm going to be talking about on Val's View, I don't want to give too much away. Um, I love street art. I think I would definitely want to talk about yeah. talk about that, especially in JP. My gosh, some of the oh, murals, some of the in, the murals in the area are incredible, oh, aren't they? Even just right outside the studio. Yes, right across the street, they're putting yeah. one up. There's a woman's center going to go be going in across the street, and they're doing this. This was a, a blight of a building, and now it's being renovated and all over to be become these great places. Oh, absolutely. But BNN is where you come to do that kind of thing. BNN is where you'll be have your opportunity to take Final Cut Pro. Cl uh, classes, learn how to do lighting, learn how to stand behind one of these cameras and make sure that Glenn's in the middle of the shot. No, 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 I'm only <laughs> kidding. I'm only kidding. And, uh, uh, but if you're, th if you're interested in doing something like that and you want to get involved, go to www.bnntv.org. That'll get you to Janice Williams or, or um, Jim, Atwood. Jim Atwood's the other one. He can help out too. So, you know, do that. And also, if while you're there, click on what's playing right now and whatever's live on the air comes on your computer. I've done that a couple of so times. It's fun. You know, it's, we're <laughs> streaming, so you don't know what's on and you kind of click and you say, oh, look who's on today. Yep. So um, that's what you'll do. Listen, you know, we've been jabbing on. we got a great guest tonight. Yeah, I'm we so do. happy that he's here. He's an old friend. He's been before, and we're going to take a look at some of his work. I can't wait to see it. Yes, it's beautiful. You'll really like it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a break, okay? Sounds good. And we're going to get to Val's view, okay? Listen, gang, you're watching BNN TV's It's All About Us. My name is Glenn. This is Val. Listen, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Please do not go away. Thanks. <laughs> a time when everybody needs to be with someone well, now's the time when I have realized 
Welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. And I do want to remind you that this show will be available tomorrow on our YouTube station. If you go to your YouTube account and you or just search and put in It's All About Arts with the number one behind it, it'll get you right to our YouTube station where you can get all of our shows. We've been putting them up for a while now. There's like, you know, over 100 shows that we've done. Um, not all of them are up there. I mean, 16 years is a lot of shows, but we've got about a couple years worth of shows up there now, so it's kind of kind of neat to go up there and check out some of the things. We've had some fascinating and amazing guests. We're very, very proud of it. And also, if you want to send us a tweet, if you want to give us a question and you just are too nervous to get on the phone and call us at 617-703-87. What is it again? 617. What is the telephone number again? 617. 617-708-3290. I'm sorry about that. I just had that blank. Did you notice? I don't think that's ever happened before. You can send us a tweet, and you can do that at It's All About Arts on your Twitter account. But right now, it is time. Yes, it's time for once again Val's View. I'm going to turn it over. Take it away, Val. 
Hello and good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to Val's View. I hope you've all been enjoying these last few bursts of warm weather that we've been having. Uh, I have a few fun events that are going on in the city over the next couple weeks to talk about. Uh, first of all, we have wearable art. It's going to be at Copley Place. It's going on now through October 5th. Uh, wearable art is uh, work brought to you by the students of Mass College of Art and Design as you get to see some of what these students are coming up with in their classes and um, some of their creative thinkings. Um, so the exhibit showcases designs utilizing unconventional materials. So you see anything from uh, window screens to Capri Sun juice boxes to paper clips, um, you name it, it's probably in part of their wearable art exhibition. Uh, so really exciting. It's again, it's at Copley Place. Uh, the exhibit's open to the public and there's gonna be a big grand finale sort of uh, show going on October 8th where you'll see sort of a runway, um, a, a runway deal going on where the models are gonna be wearing some of their designs. Um, second off, we have Jamaica Plain Art Walking Tour. Uh, this is what Glenn and I were talking about before. Some of the street art around Jamaica Plain has some of the best street art, I think, in all of Boston. Um, so it's gonna be Saturday, October 4th. It's from 3.30 to 6 o'clock. You're gonna meet at 633 Center Street, walk around for a few hours, see some of the murals, see some of the sculptors, um, sculptures, and some of the public art that's all over that area of Boston. Hopefully it's a sunny day, it's as nice and warm as it's been today, um, but definitely something to check out. I know I'm going to try to make it. And thirdly, um, the ACI launch party. So ACI is Arts Connect International. Uh, it's going to be going on at the estate. Uh, that's at 1 Boylston Street. For any of you ha who have been or haven't been to the estate, it's a, a really cool sort of building. Um, I know they, they use it as a club a lot during the weekends, but inside it, it almost looks like a big mansion. Um, so ACI Arts Connect International is going to be celebrating the launch of its Artists in Residence and Rising Artists program. Uh, there's going to be uh, it's a, a fun fun-filled event, uh, fun evening filled with art, entertainment, libations. A lot of the artists are going to be there talking about their ideas for the launches and you get to mix and mingle and meet a lot of people. And so I hope you get a chance to go out and check out some of these fun activities. It's always a pleasure for me to uh, share with you some of the uh, events, artful events that are going on in and around the beautiful city of Boston. So I'm going to shoot it back to Glenn for the rest of It's All About Arts. And thanks for joining Val's View. Back to you, Glenn. Well, thank you, Val. I appreciate that. That was great. That sounds very, very exciting. And some really cool things going on, I'm sure. But right now, it's going to be my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to an old friend. He's been on in the past before, but I'm glad to have him back with us. Doug Caves. Hello, Doug. How Hi, are you? I'm great. It's Thanks. good to see you. How's everything? It's going good. Good. It's been a busy summer. It has been a bit busy summer for you. And I know that I know you've got some great gigs coming up. But, but I, I, let's start off first with, with, with your work and stuff. If you had to categorize yourself as an artist, if you had to say what kind of art it was, and there's a pull-down menu, uh, impressionist, uh, mm. da, 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 all that kind of thing. I know it's a tough question, and I lead it off with it all the time just to make you feel uncomfortable, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you had to pick one, what would it be? Um, I, I'd have to say that I'm a, a realist A realist, painter. okay, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you work with uh, acrylics, right, if I remember? I do, yeah. yes. Um, do you work in, do you have a dedicated space where you can work, where you can... I have a studio in my, uh, in my home yeah, that yeah. I use, and it yeah. uh, works out pretty well. That's great. Um, now, you call yourself a realist, are you working from photography, or are you going, doing any plein air stuff? Are you going out a to sketch? A little bit of both. I yeah. sketch uh, and photograph, uh, uh -huh. and then uh, if I start a painting plein air, I'll, everything gets finished in the studio. Yeah, sure. I'm using a lot of... Um, layers, uh, glazes, and um, so necessarily it just takes, you know, a while to uh, bring it to completion. Right. Now, uh, if you're using the glazes, it takes a little while to set and what have you. Are you working on several pieces at a time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I am. Yeah. It, I will have anywhere from five to 15 pieces going. 15 pieces going? Yeah. Well, I was visiting some artists up in uh, 
rock portrait. He was told me that he had 25 going all the time, and I thought I was busy with three going, so I said, well, I better up my game. <laughs> Step up a bit. Is, 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 is art your, your main gig? No, it's not. I actually work full time as a facilities manager in, mm -hmm. in Medford, and I uh -huh. live out in Fishburg, so I commute back and forth. And, We've all uh, got to compensate our income somehow. Yeah, so, um, you know, uh, the commute becomes part of the experience of gathering. Uh, well, are, venues. You are you carrying a point and shoot with you? Yeah, I have a, a, a Canon Rebel, yeah. and it works great. So I love that camera. We have one yeah, too. We have yeah, one for years. Yeah, and then I keep my sketchbook with me, and uh -huh. so, depending, in this time of year, um, you know, only on the weekends do I really have time to mm. sketch outside, right. but uh, uh, I get these fantastic well, the, this, uh, morning this, and this evening. This time of year yeah. in New England is, the light every, is so every golden. day is a yeah. picture. Isn't it just beautiful? I love yeah, New yeah. England. Yeah, I, mean, I really like this time of year, I, I, and I, I forget each year, but the, uh, the the gold, you know, this time of year, it, 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 ah, it's like it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's it's yeah. rich. It's, yeah. it's mellow. It's kind of moody. It's yeah. now. When I'm going to ask a question for my students because they will always want me to ask this question. When you're working in different colors, are you working with just primary colors to make all your other colors? I I, I know you're not. You know, you know but I, how much mixing and blending to find your your kind of color do you actually do? A, a, a tremendous oh, amount of yes, mixing and do. blending. Yeah. I, I do a lot of uh, underpainting, so I'll often go with a primary uh, underpainting. If, uh -huh. if I'm going to have a, a blue sky, I might go with an orange underpainting, yeah. you know. But then I build it all up, and I just like to have some of that color come mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. And with the glazes, you can achieve that. And, mm -hmm. uh, you get Why don't you explain awesome. what the glazes, what the purpose of those are? What, what they actually do so that our friends in being in Lincoln can well, understand? Well, uh, rather than just painting wet into wet, uh, if you take some medium, in this case with the acrylics, it's, you know, it's the polymer medium and this gloss, there's yeah. matte, but uh, you know, so I like using the gloss. And it thins the color down and spreads it out so that you're building up layers of color, and by changing, you know, the tones a little bit, you get a richness of color that you can't really achieve with just uh, going a heavy layer of, of, of a single layer. Right, you right, know? right, right. So uh, it gives you a, lum a luminosity, which I, for me is important because it lends an atmosphere to the painting. Uh -huh. So uh, it, it's not appropriate all the time, but. Most of the time, it is for me. And well, the effects when, that I'm when trying do you know to it's achieve. not appropriate? I mean, is there a time when you're you're in the middle of a piece and you'll say, you know, I'm, I don't think this yeah. warrants that? Yeah, it, it depends on the piece. Uh, is that for a, sure. Does experience have to do with that, or? Is yeah, yes, it does. Yeah. Um, but sometimes it's more of an immediate effect that I'm going for, uh -huh. and I want that freshness of the, you know, getting the paint in and then leaving it. Uh -huh. And so then the glazes aren't aren't. aren't quite appropriate, mm -hmm. but that's great. Does that answer that? Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay. No, yeah. it does. Has, has, has that been your style always? Or was there a day when you Well, were... I used to paint in oils, yeah. and uh, you know, then it was just wet on wet, and uh, uh, they didn't dry fast enough for me, so Stand I didn't... Around for hours. <laughs> yeah. hours, days. Yeah, so I like the fact that the acrylics will dry, and then you're not going to lose what you painted already, but yeah. you know, with the oils, I just, you know, yeah. I, I had a tendency to sort of kind of lose what I had uh, 10 minutes ago because I started trying to push it around too much. And, you know, so the acrylics and the glazes, I don't lose that. I just kind of get to build on it right. and, uh, and go from opaque to luminous. Yeah, I kind of like it. Uh, do you set an atmosphere for yourself? I mean, is there, yeah, is, are the monkeys on in the background? Yeah, the, the you know, the monkey, Davy, uh, John. <laughs> I, I like classical music, yeah. and I like some of the old rock tunes from when I was a kid. You yeah, know? of course. WBCN days. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So Vivaldi and, uh, and violins really helped me just to kind of keep going, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, I like that. I like do, you find it, do you find that you're, 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 well, being a realist, I suppose you're really paying attention more to the, the, the subject matter than you are your mood. Yeah, I I don't know about that, Glenn, okay. to be Tell honest. Me, sure. um, uh, 
I, I, you know, it's it's form, it, it's composition, it's light, and it's color, and mm -hmm. those those combine. You know, you, you, to me, I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm creating a poem or, or a piece of music, mm -hmm. but it's so um, it's in the it's all about the tone. It's about the atmosphere in the end. That's what I'm I'm trying to get to this place where I know, oh, this is this is the feeling that I had mm -hmm. about this place. So it's a journey, but having the drawing, you know, the, you've got to be able to draw. You got to have perspective. You yeah. Gotta, you know, well, no, you, all you, of that. You know, yeah. so that does come into play. You know, I'm not. Um, well, is there a time? Is there a time when you when when it's when you, you find it you're going to go down stay or down to work and and, and you just say, not today. Uh, very so rarely. and so in that building <laughs> yeah. gave me such and such, yeah. and I can't do yeah. it. Yeah, I try to. I try to be disciplined and regular. So I try to be in the studios every night, and even if it's really? just to sit down really? and, and and think about what I want to do next. Mm -hmm. But um, so you're not a struck by lightning guy. You no, to, sir. You're disciplining yourself to get down there and do the work, and I I I, I admire that because. I, I'm absolutely someone who mulls it over and mulls it over and waits until waits until I know when it's time for it to happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, everybody has that. I have that for sure. But I, uh, um, I was influenced by, uh, you know, some of my teachers mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, a painting teacher. Just one of his lines I always remember. I said, he said, you have to show up every day. Mm. Well, even if nothing happens, you got to show up. That's a great one. And I remember what I think it's more the sculptor talked mm -hmm. about. It took years just to become acclimated to his craft. Mm. And I thought, well, yeah, I'm about to that point where I'm acclimated now, and I like just getting to the studio. It's That's my, good. it's my place. Yeah, it's where I belong. And, and, you, and you're lucky to be afforded the opportunity to be able to walk in there the way you left it. Yeah. You know, yeah, unless my wife, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a lot of people that are painting at the kitchen but, table. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, but it's true. It's true. Actually, my wife is great help for me because she does kind of, you know, she picks up. I'm not up talking the about the half drunk <laughs> cup of coffee. I'm talking about, you know, you, you still yeah. feel like it was when you left. It. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's important. Yeah, yeah I you, think. Uh, well, you brought some images yeah. with us. I did. You yeah. know, I'd like. Yeah. Why don't we go through some of them and uh, and you talk us through? You'll be able to see them on oh, the monitor sure. right yeah. over here. So sure. why don't we take a look at what we got? Okay. Okay, well, this painting is called Barnes in Summer, and uh -huh. this was recently at the Fitchburg Art Museum uh -huh. in their 79th regional, it's a jury show, so I was happy to get it in. It's 30 by 40, and uh, this is my favorite motif. Uh, it's barns up on a hill in Groton, so I'm, I'm constantly working with those barns from different angles, different times of day. The and television screen doesn't do that sky justice, because I'll tell you something. That's amazing. Yeah. So this painting is also 30 by 40, and this is a field in Ipswich, uh, Mass, which uh, uh, there's, we just discovered it this summer. So um, I painted this right after I visited the Turner exhibit at the Peabody Essex Museum. Uh -huh. And I was just so wowed by Turner's massiveness and his big view that I wanted just to you know, explore that a little bit further. So I've got this field and this huge sky, you know, low horizon. And this, you can't really see it. Well, I can't see it, but uh, there's a girl walking um, uh, towards us in the field, in the okay. pathway. And this, uh, this is um, something uh, I did completed just recently. I um, was uh, coming back from the White Mountains, and uh, we stopped here, my nephew and I, uh, uh, to... Uh, take some uh, photos of this red barn that was in New Boston, uh, New Hampshire. We were coming back from a, a family hike that we do up in the Mount Washington. And so I took uh, several pictures, uh, little sketches, and I've uh, been working on this motif. This is fairly new for me. Uh -huh. And uh, this is, I've been working on this one for quite a long time. This is an interior scene inside Hotwell Tavern, which is in the Minuteman National Historical Park and that spans from Concord to Lexington. Right. And I just fell in love with the way the light comes in through the window and uh, splashes over the, uh, uh, 
the pottery and the the tools. This was the modern day kitchen way back in yes, the seventeenth sure century. I mean, I mean, one of the things I like about this one is is you have two two separate atmospheres that you've brought together. Usually, you're doing this amazing outside scene and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. um, how much how much attention did that outside scene create for you? I'm not sure how much what. How much attention did you have to put put to that? Oh yeah, because yeah. there's so much detail inside. Is is yeah. outside kind of just a well, less less attention yeah. than the foreground. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but you know what the difficult part was for me was getting the the glass, mm -hmm. getting that yeah. plane right. I wanted to get the reflection of the glass. I wanted it to feel like. Right. You know, you know, I thought that. No, was, I do know. Yeah, I, I do. And so, you wanted, you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. You, know, you labeled yourself, and you wanted to look like that. Yeah, I wanted to. You know, I thought you had to put the outside just right, not too dark, not too heavy, not too defined, so that it would, you know, actually recede. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long does a piece usually take you? It depends. That piece took me months. Some pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, I can finish in a day in some pieces. Usually, uh, I would say, you know, 10 to 20 hours for a piece, you know. That's good. Yeah. And they're all on canvas? Yes, sir. Have you ever tried to work off on anything else, on any of this wood stuff? Or Yeah, I've been tempted know? to. I've yeah. been talking with some artists that uh, mm. paint on masonite and, yeah. and or wood panels. Um, but I don't want to get too crazy about... Uh, trying all these different surfaces where I feel like I have about a thousand paintings in me that I want to get out. Yeah. And, and so, I, you know, um, I just, I just, the canvas, are you, are you go with what you're canvas with? is it, and that's yeah. it, yeah. Well, that's okay, yeah. too, you yeah. know, I mean, yeah. I, I know I've talked to painters that have said, oh, I want to try it on this, I want to try it on that, I want to go yeah. this way, I want to go that way, but, you know, you know you're When I was right younger, I, I, we, I did that, absolutely. So you're we, old and set in your ways? Yeah, is that well, what you're trying to tell you know, we, we painted on paper. I've done, you know, yeah. like like a fellow artist of mine. We did, you know, c collective paintings, oh, with nice. flow paintings, and nice. things like that. So you know, that was several years ago. We yeah. worked on raw canvas. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think no, uh, you found you. You've yeah. obviously found your niche because it's beautiful, and you're going to be showing Thank in you. some fascinating places. Yeah, right now we're showing. I'm showing. We, I say we, the collective we. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm um, I'm at uh, Thomas Moser's in Connecticut. Yeah. It's good. We. Uh, you know what I love about his yeah. places is you get to see the paintings in the atmosphere. You're probably going to be enjoying them for the rest yeah, of your exactly, life, and that yeah. is awesome, yeah. isn't it? It is. It's a nice atmosphere. They're nice yeah. people in Thomas. They most certainly are. One of the paintings sold before they. We had a reception there, so <laughs> one of the paintings sold before we got down. Beth Barry's also showing there. Yeah, that's great. She sold the painting. That was great. As I said, we were at the uh, Fitchburg Art Museum yeah. earlier. Um, we, um, I have a couple of paintings in the CFA's uh, City Hall uh, uh -huh. exhibition. Now, is that in the Scully one, or that's in their other, their well, other gallery? Well, it's, it's in the it's, uh, office of the um, City Council yes. President. Yes, yes, I know the place where you okay. are. Okay, yeah. so yeah. it's spread out, and it's, you know, it's, it's very nice. eclectic. There's very many nice. different styles there, yeah. so I was happy to be into that. Yeah. We had a great reception there last Wednesday night. Yeah. and uh, You got a Liberty coming up too, don't you? Liberty, yes, uh, probably sometime, maybe this year, but yeah. in 2015. That's great. 29 Newbury uh, right. Street yeah, yeah. in That's 2015. Um, if people wanted to get in touch with you and see some of your work up close and personal, do you have a website they can go to? Yes. It's pretty easy. It's www.dhcaves.com. We'll, we'll link yeah. that up to yeah. our Thank website. You. It's Thank all about you. art, so yeah. people can do that. Doug, thank you oh, thank so thank you. much My for pleasure. coming in. No, it's always it's always a pleasure talking to, to an artist who's, who's committed and, and who's a fine artist. and, and, and uh, and you can talk about it. That's great. That's good for a talk show. <laughs> oh, thanks, Glenn. <laughs> I don't be a stranger. Listen, gang, we'll be back in just one minute. Please don't go away, Val. I'll be right up, okay? Don't go away. Thanks. One, two, one, two, three.
Cool. Well, welcome back. Hi, Val. Hi, Glenn. Wasn't he a nice guy? He was very nice. Yeah, Doug's a, Doug's a real nice guy, and he's a great painter. And Wonderful he's, he's painter. One of these, he's one of these humble, yeah, kind of, you know, but let me tell you, he's, his work, no justice on the television. Oh, yeah. You could have the highest definition television available, but let me tell you something. You've got to see his work. Oh, totally blew me person. out of the water. I look forward to his Liberty Show. Yeah, the Liberty Show is the one that we, we're going to. We'll probably end up covering. We'll probably go to that. I'd love to. Uh, it's uh, it, it's a great spot. I I did a small show there too, not too long ago, and it's a great. It'd be perfect for him. Oh yeah. yeah. That glazing. Did you understand all that? You kind of mix that in to give it a. I did a little bit. Yeah. Um I I think it's it's a. I, I mean it's it's another material that you put format. into the yeah, paint yeah, to yeah. give it a different yeah. texture, essentially, more of a glossy look or a matte look. Yeah. Yeah. I, there's hundreds of ways. Uh, me? I'll spread it out. <laughs> go walk away, you know? Yeah. But it, it, the other thing that was interesting to hear from him was that sometimes a, a painting's going to take less than a day, and there's others that'll be months and months and months. Oh, my gosh. You know? Such dedication. Can you imagine working on 15 pieces at once? Nope. No. I mean, I'd lose my mind. I'd be I like, know. you know, where am I? Oh, yeah. oh. But, um, but that's really exciting. Okay. Any plans for the week? Let's help. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, I can't think of anything. No, right no, now. no. No. Oh, uh, yes, I'm going to the IC on Thursday. You like that place. I love that place. Yes. Yeah. Now, um, by the way, what made you go out to the to the Philharmonic? What was that? What made you want to go to do that? Um, well, uh, my boyfriend's a big fan of classical music, yeah. so we bought us uh, tickets to the opening. Now, is this a play? Was this a sit down in the seat or yeah, it was a little at the... little dinner? And oh no, it, it was at. Um, it, it kind of looks a little bit like the Opera House. Oh, I uh, like that. The ballet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's like a big, um, you know, very old like. Those buildings inside. were made for acoustic music oh, too. This Sounds are just yeah. amazing. Well, I'm looking forward to Cruz Amende. Me too. They're gonna, I'm very excited about them on Saturday. They'll be playing from 11 to 1 down at the Farmer's Market in Rosie Square. Come on down. Make sure you come by the tent and say hello. I'm right there up front where all the music is. So I know. I can't wait to get there on time this time. Yeah, she, of, uh, she, always, she shows up to get uh, carrots and stuff and food, leftover stuff at the Farmer's Market for Klaus. Yep. Now we find out all he really needs is a raisin box of brand. raisin bran. <laughs> is it the raisins or the bran he's no, after? No, he actually can't have raisins. It's the bran he's after. Oh, well, he needs to speak into it. Yeah. Well, that was fun. It was fun. Thank you for being here. Great Val's view. Oh, thank you so yes, much. That's okay. Yeah. Listen, gang, thanks an awful lot for being here with us. We really appreciate you being here with us. Listen, this show is going to be up on YouTube this time tomorrow. Yeah. It's all about arts. One. It's all about arts. One, and please do go to Facebook and, and like our our page there. There's all kinds of things. There's other artful stuff happening on oh, that yeah. page besides just what's happening here at Studio B at B and N. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, we covered the 30th anniversary yeah. uh, barbecue and block party. We threw a lot of those pictures on there. You did a great job there. Yeah. Talked yeah. a little bit about the South End Open Studios yeah, yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, it's an opportunity for us to kind of keep you abreast of some of the things that we're doing too. You yeah, know? absolutely. So it's kind of fun. So thanks, Val. Thanks, Glenn. Have a great week. You too. Okay, listen, gang, get out there and do something artful for yourself, please. Do something uh, arty, and you have some fun. And like we like <laughs> to say every week, please. Um, I can't wait till we don't have to do this, but. Please keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil. Please get out, do something artful, do it for them. Okay? We'll see you next week, folks. Bye-bye.